So if you love TBS Crossfire, you love the Unify BTXs, and you're excited about the Tango 2 and the new Fusion Goggle module, then this video is probably for you, and that's probably why you clicked on it. But if your ideals fall in line more with a few select YouTube video influencers in this hobby, then you probably could care less. Welcome back to the Dorky and 40 channel. I am Chad and today we are going to talk about probably the best next innovation that we're going to see in our FPV hobby for a long time. The FPV hobby, in my opinion, is very stagnant right now. There's very few products that interest me. I know there's an influx of people coming into the hobby constantly that are buying Banggood products, this and that. They subscribe and to a lot of the ideals from other YouTubers and other influencers, and that's fine. So let's talk about TBS and this whole fusion module and everything like that. Now, a lot of this information, some of it is rumors and some of it has been confirmed. I listen to a lot of different podcasts, follow a lot of different social media outlets, a lot more probably than maybe some of you do. So let's talk about what we know right now and some of those rumors. So we know that a while back, TBS teased the fusion goggle module right here on an episode of the lounge on the TBS lounge. And they said that it is a collaboration with brain FPV who makes some awesome flight controllers. And they have done some really cool work with CRSF and crossfire recently to bring us the actual crossfire information in our OSD more to come on that later. Now really the fusion module is going to surround itself with products that are already in place. One of them being a crossfire of course itself. And we can see here that recently a new firmware has been released where they're talking about a lot of different things that are gonna be coming down the pipeline for Crossfire itself. We've already kind of seen some of this background stuff happening with their new Pro 32 series of VTXs. When you wire these up, you see you've got these connections on here for CRSF, which means that you can actually hook this up to your Crossfire receiver. You can do over there updates. You can control this via the Crossfire and everything just kind of talks back and forth. So TBS has the money, they have the resources, unlike a lot of other technology companies that are out there. And they are building an entire ecosystem here where all of this stuff is going to connect together, talk together, it's just gonna be pretty amazing. We saw a little hint of this also in the TBS Unify Evo. It also has the CRSF input and output so you can get information from Crossfire coming through into the integrated OSD that is built into this VTX. So what we know is that TBS is building these products that are all revolving around CRSF and Crossfire. And the rumors and stuff that I've heard from people from IO and everybody else that have seen some of this stuff and actually laid their hands on it is that we're talking about full VTX, crossfire functionality, all of that stuff in your actual module. So yeah, of course it's gonna be something like rapid fire, which you know we have now, and there was something before rapid fire that was just like rapid fire. It was called Clearview, remember that? And not to discredit anything that Immersion RC has done with rapid fire, I have it, I love it, it works great. They've definitely went leaps and bounds to improve the, our experience that we get out of our fat shark goggles but imagine a world being able to control your vtx power your crossfire power and everything like that all through your actual module take it a step further everything will talk to each other wirelessly you can do firmware updates you can change your crossfire settings through your module what if your module actually had a built-in lap timer because it has CRSF that can speak back and forth between the VTX, the frequencies, everything else like that, and it is gonna be able to record all of your laps and everything, display information real time in your goggles. 
all of that sounds really sweet. Now, some of this has already been confirmed. Stinger Swarm confirmed some of this the other day on the Fly Life podcast about exactly how this fusion is going to be able to work. Evidently, it's going to work somehow off of Wi-Fi. I don't know how it's going to communicate with like your VTX and your Crossfire module when they run at like 900 megahertz and they don't have Wi-Fi built into them. But I'm assuming there's going to be some kind of application that will communicate with your phone and then maybe your phone will Bluetooth to those modules and allow you to do the changes and everything like that. Anyway, it's a whole ecosystem that's being built around that module itself and Crossfire technology. For me, someone who's been doing this for seven to eight years and I've got every rig that I think I want right now that flies great, there's really no need. I don't have this like hype train urge anymore to go out and just constantly spend money and buy stuff. Like a lot of the YouTube reviewers out there that get stuff sent to them and everything like that. And I think overall, looking at all this content, I've seen a lot of that stuff going down recently. I think that's the reason why you see a lot of like live streams and stuff like that, because these people are realizing that they can make more money off of doing a four hour, a three or four hour live stream and getting donations than they can off of putting in three or four hours into a video. So it's kind of funny to like see how the whole industry itself is just rapidly evolving and changing around but it'll be great to have something that is a non-hyped product. Like this product actually will deliver awesome things that I, myself, and I know a lot of other mature people in the hobby will be excited about. There's not gonna be any more waiting on Betaflight to like update their code or figure this out or figure that, that out as far as getting smart audio to work or this or that or anything else. Everything should just work. Now, how much of this stuff is gonna be available when the actual product launches? Who knows? But I guarantee that there's gonna be quite a bit of functionality when it comes out, just because of the fact that all of the pieces are already in place. Like the same people that are developing Crossfire now are the same people that have been working on it for the past couple of years. And I think everybody can pretty much agree that there's a lot more to Crossfire than just flying far away. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Are you excited about the TBS Fusion and all of the rumors and stuff that are surrounding it? I know I am. So put a comment down there. Hit the like button while you're down there as well. And we will see you guys out in the field on the next video.